Let's go ahead and take a look at the BIM 360 field mobile iPad application. So here we are in the iPad. I can hit this button in the bottom right to access my account. So I've logged in with my unique email address and password. It knows the project, project or projects that I'm on. And I can now hit the sync button in the bottom right to download the most recent set of plans and information related to my project. So I've gone ahead and done that here. So I know I'm working from the latest and greatest set of information here um, on my project. I can now hit the go to button in the bottom left and I can see all the modules that I have available at my fingertips out in the field here on the iPad. The first one we're going to go to today is going to be the library. With the library functionality we're able to upload the most recent set of plans and specifications for our project. So right here on your, at your fingertips you'll have the latest set of documents uh, to help you get the job done. For me in my sample project you can see the basic structure that I have here. So I have my architectural plans, I have my civil plans, I have elevations. Again, I know I'm looking at the latest set of documents. Um, I can go in, view any of these documents um, right there in the field um, without having to, to walk back and forth between the trailer or the field office. For me, beyond just my plans and specifications, I have lead documentation. I have O&M manuals, OSHA regulations. I even have my schedule here. The key, be key point being anything that your field staff will need out in the field to help them get the job done, we want to have available here in our document library for their use. So I can go ahead and hit architectural for example and I can click on any one of these plans and it'll flip right open and give me some pretty good clarity here. So you can see with this floor plan here I can pan around the drawing and using the pinch to zoom function I can zoom in and get some pretty high resolution pretty good clarity here. So this is a read only set but I will show you later in the demonstration how we can actually pull this document in um, and redline it and mark it up, distributing it out to necessary stakeholders. We have the ability as well to search through any of our documents here. That's all for our library demonstration.